Okay, this thing is broken, so let's try and fix it. We've got a pier light. Mercury vapor, high bay light. Tripping the circuit breaker at the moment. When you turn it on, it trips out. You reset the breaker, turn it on again, trips out. Reset the breaker, turn it on again. Breaker doesn't trip, but the light doesn't come on. Sounds a bit full of shit. Let's see what's going on. Straight away. I don't know if you can see that. Burned. What have we got? Looks like the active. What's happened here? Yeah, it's the active. There's a bug hiding out in there. I reckon a bug. It's shorted that out. None of the other wires burnt or anything, so it doesn't look like it's going over current. Yeah, I reckon bug or a lizard. There's plenty of bugs in there. Look at that. Full of them. Loving it. suppose let's see if we can fix it. All right, so what we're gonna do is piss this whole thing off. Yeah, so we're gonna found one of these. So we'll replace that, clean out these wires maybe, and we'll put a new earth in. Get rid of this dicky little connection it's got here, put a proper bolt in, knock it some paint out, drill a hole, put a proper earth wire in, hopefully be good as gold. Do a couple tests and then I'll have bigger better lights for these videos. That'll be good. Alright. Oh jeez. Oh, that was done up pretty tight. This terminal's good for 500 volts, 15 amps. This should be all good, but you've got a 10 amp plug in here. So, well and truly within spec. The only thing, problem's going to be, it's just going to be sitting around freely in this box. So, I might zip tie it up to something or. So I'm not going to use this anymore. That's it. Oh, maybe I will use it. Not as bad as I thought. It's pretty clean. We'll see how it fits. Yeah, that's all right. We'll test it, make sure it is a good thing. Now, to do this better, I should be using boot laces. But I never had boot lasers in here before, which is probably one of the reasons why it failed. But who knows why it failed, so we'll give it a go. Tip all these bugs out. <laughs> bugs. Throw the nigger on it, make sure it's not going to blow me up and kill me in the face. Right, on there. 500 volts. Lock it on. Alright. That's pretty 
You good? Yeah, both greater than 200 mega ohms. So, what we're looking for is anything greater than one mega ohm. So, well and truly in spec. Let's make sure the earth is good. Oh, yeah. Look at that to this little screw here. Yeah. That's a wobbly screw. That's pretty good. Pop grit should be alright. Spot on. This one here. Yeah. Alright. Let's test this bad boy. I might put the lid on first. Yeah. Bulb. your face let's see what happens oh Well, that seems to work quite well. Great success. All right, now we've fixed it. I'll give you a little tour. Get rid of more bloody bugs. Jesus. Have a go. Anyway, they're pretty simple. These high bays. You got your power comes in. It's just a little. Standard 10 amp plug they give you. Makes it nice and easy to swap out. Gets held up by a chain through there. A loop. Simple. Love it. Took me about three minutes to change this. Anyway, power comes in. You've got your ballast here, which turns the electricity out of the power point into just the right amount of power to run the light. Not too little, so it won't start. Not too much, so it doesn't blow up. Makes it just right. And you've got a little capacitor here. It just cleans up the power because sometimes these sort of lights can muck up other things in your system and you know cost you more than they should, especially if you've got lots of them connected up. Anyway, just keeping it pretty simple, it pretty much just cleans up the power. And it comes down to a little outlet here, John Edison screw. What number is it? Lamp holder. I don't know. I don't know these things. I just plug it in, turn it on, and it works. Sometimes I fix it. But anyway, pretty simple. Ballast, capacitor, holder. You got the bulb. These big bad boys. You're supposed to use double contained ones in open lights. So if they blow up, they don't blow up too much. But I don't know, for some reasons, these ones came with only single wall. It must have been before the time they made that law, but anyway, we'll get a new bulb. And I can put this up, and we'll have much more light. Well, yeah. So that's about it. Pretty simple. Oh, and there's this thing too. Reflector. It's a big... And that just goes on the bottom, like that. And these three little screws just directs the light down to the floor where you want it. And when the light bulb explodes, it points all the explosions straight down and gets you right on the top of the head. Fun times. 